Uh, breaking overnight, more shootings in the district. We are following three shootings just from yesterday. Two of them were deadly. One shooting happened in the 1800 block of 24th Street in Northeast, not far from the 5th District Police Station. Megan Rivers is live nearby this morning. Megan, the people living in this neighborhood uh, have been speaking with us. What are they saying? Well, good morning, Tony. Simply put, they're saying that they're tired of the gun violence in their neighborhoods and they're hoping for a change in their communities. As neighbors wake up in this neighborhood, this apartment complex just off of 24th Street, getting ready to head out to work. There's still a few officers in the area. There's some crime tape that's still up blocking this area off where one of those shootings happened yesterday. But we want to note that this is just a block away from the 5th District Precinct, so not too far from the police station, a police station at all. According to MPD data, homicides are up 22% in comparison to this time last year. And 2020 was a pretty bad year. According to MPD data, that, that was the deadliest year since 2004. Just four months into 2021, and it's already shaping up to be another historically violent year in the district. A number of shootings are even happening in broad daylight. I'm tired. I'm tired of it. This man calls Southeast DC home and echoes the sentiments of being exhausted from the seemingly constant gun violence. I'm the species right now, man. Well, it's, just, it's just sad. On Easter Sunday around 8 p.m., one man was shot in the leg. An hour later, another man shot in the chest. And just before 10 p.m., police say another man was shot dead. Unfortunately, you know, I, I think sometimes uh, we have a tendency to, to normalize, normalize things that are not normal. This is not normal, and we should not uh, normalize this. So far this year, there have been 45 homicides in the district. That's 45 families having to grieve unnecessarily. As for those shootings yesterday, there's still very limited details on exactly what happened and what led up to those shootings. And there's no details as of yet of a suspect. Reporting live in Northeast, I'm Megan Rivers. Tony, I'll send things back to you in the studio. All right, Megan, thank you very much.